Hello. Good night. Hi, good evening, Karen. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine with cold. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very cold mm -hmm. today. Is it raining yeah. where you live? Yes, it's raining. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And where are you? Are cold? Yes? Yes, yes, it's very cold and also raining. Yeah. Uh -huh. So how was your day? Did you have to work today? No, I I uh, I'm staying in the house with my child. Okay. I care of my child. Mm -hmm. You take care of him. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's nice. Mm -hmm. How old is he? Uh, he has five years. Okay, he's five years old. Mm -hmm. It's little. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. <laughs> That's nice. You have a lot to do with him, yeah. I guess. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> All the day. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how about the plant? Have a kid. No, I don't have kids. You don't. No. You are <laughs> young. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, no uh, the platform uh, I I I finished the platform. You finished? Uh -huh. Did you get a diploma? Yes. Okay. Congratulations. Yes, I got it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, Arturo. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well, and you? Um, I'm fine. Okay, um, pretty good. So tired. <laughs> tired, yeah. You had to work. Yeah. Okay. And how was your day? Very busy and with the rain, it's a oh. real trouble. Yes, right. I can imagine. Okay, and how about the platform you had finished? Um, did you check if you had yeah. everything in the right way or? Is it okay with the um, platform, I mean? I finished, but... Uh, there, is, there is no change. Um, so the last bar still appears in gray color. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, well, it's fine like that. Let me just get a picture. I think I have one. Let's see this. So it should look like this. I don't know if you can see it. So yeah, it's not so clear, but anyways, so the first five bars are in red. Then we have dark yes. in the next one. The other one is gray. I guess gray. you can see it there, gray. but yeah. So the next okay. one is gray, the one that says final. And then we have, um, a bar that says total middle red that one is three colors it's red dark yeah. red and gray and then it has the person yes on top of it okay so if it's 100 we're good mm -hmm. okay. so did you get your diploma everything is okay great no oh you didn't get I, it i don't know where yes Oh, okay. So I like, didn't get. I think I can show you. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, so here you go to progress. And here you have it. Where... So let's see. Um, well, I guess I don't have the option because I have not completed the 80% yet, right? But um, it should appear over here. Yeah. So here it says like get my diploma or oh, my okay. certificate, something like that. So that's where you get it. Okay. No se me ha habilitado porque como yo no he completado, ¿verdad? Hasta el 80% que debe ser y todo eso. Pero por acá, si no me equivoco, en esta esquinita es que aparece el botoncito. Ahí dice entonces, eh, creo que eh, obtener mi certificado o algo así. Pues ahí nada más lo, le da clic y le va a salir la opción de descargarlo. Oh, ok. Okay. Good evening, Lorena. Um, sorry, Lorena, we cannot hear you. Your microphone is up. Now? Now it's good. Okay, I, I finished. All, all the things, but I can, I don't, I don't have the diploma, too. Oh, really? Yes, and, and so I for that, and, 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 but in my telephone, someone write me to send, tell me that, that, that uh, I could send the information again, because I wasn't approved for the new course. Then I, I just send everything. But no, send my diploma because I don't have it. Okay, so you couldn't get it. So no. let me report it and well, let me ask about it tomorrow because it should be available. Si debería de salirles ya la opción. Si no, Hoy no, la, les... Hoy no lo he revisado, solo que lo revise y yo le escribo a usted. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. all right, that's good. So maybe you can check today or tomorrow. And um, if you don't have it, please let me know so I can ask. Okay, so Teacher. it doesn't matter if you are already registered for the next course or anything, you should get that diploma or that certificate, okay? okay. Um, Karen, I think you were talking to me. Yes, I, I, I want to ask you something. Tell me. I have a problem. I understand very well uh, that uh, you talk in English, but when I want to express me, uh, I I do it very bad. Why? Well, don't worry about it. It's just normal in the process of learning a language. So it's um, it's okay. I mean, it's not a problem. Just keep on practicing, okay. try to talk as much as you can, try to practice English by listening to music, try to watch movies in English. If you have the contact to some of your classmates, maybe you can chat in English. Just keep on practicing, okay? Okay. That's what it requires. <laughs> Good evening, Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hello again. <laughs> I mm. disconnect. Yes, that's right. Maybe the internet is not good. No, uh, it's fine. Thanks. Okay, pretty good, Mauricio. How was your day?
Okay. All right. Did you have to work today? Okay, so I think we're ready to start with the class. Let's see. Okay, so let's start right away. Um, first of all, I'd like to ask you, do you have any doubts, any questions? No? No. Okay, no. great. So let's start with this activity. It's called as many verbs as you can. So what are we going to do with this? Well, I need you to get some paper and your pencil or pen. And we are going to write as many verbs as we can in 30 seconds. But what kind of verbs? Well, I'm going to tell you a letter and you should write verbs that start with that letter. For example, okay. if I say letter M, what verbs can you mention? So you write as many verbs as you can that start with the run with the letter M. Make, for example, move. Oh. Any other? Made. No. Made, yes, it's in the past. Meet. Meet. And so on, right? So you are going to have 30 seconds to write as many verbs as you can. So let's give it a try. The first letter that we are going to work with is the letter P. Write as many verbs as you can. At the beginning with letter P. Yes, verbs that start with the letter P. Five seconds. Stop grinding. Stop grinding. No more. So let's see. Lorena, how many verbs did you get? No, I don't have no. Okay. No one. My mind oh. is in blank. Okay. Don't worry. Arturo, did you get any verbs? Um only one. Only one? Which one? Posting. What is it? Posting. Oh, posting. Okay. okay. Karen? Mm, I have to pick up and put. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay. Pretty good. So, Karen, you get one point. And let's mm. continue by writing verbs that start with the letter W. Let's see. 30 seconds. Okay, stop grinding, time's up. So let's see, Karen, how many did you get? I get it three. You got three, okay. Wait, work, wish. Wait, work, and? Wish. Like which? The pregunta, which? Si? No, 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 wish, wish, uh, oh, uh, wish, deseo, like de deseo, yes. desear yes. algo. Yes, I got it. Okay, 
pretty good. Uh -huh. And yes. Arturo, you got three too, right? Yes. yes. Can you uh, read them? Walk, walk, work, want. Okay, pretty good. And Lorena? Uh, five. Watch, watch, one. Uh, watch, write, and win. Excellent. So, Lorena, you get the point this time. Pretty good. So, Ana Ruth, we are just writing verbs that start with the letter I, I tell you, okay? So, you got 30 seconds to write as many verbs as you can. And let's see, we are going to continue with the letter C. You got 30 seconds to write as many verbs that start with C as you can. Okay, for the ones that are just joining us, we are just writing verbs that start with the letter I tell you. In this case, we're working with the letter C. So you have to write as many verbs that start with C as you can. And time's up. So let's check. Lorena, how many did you get this time? You got six. Okay. Cut, 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 con, con, cut, climb. Excellent. Very good. Arturo, how many did you get? I I write three verbs called okay. come cute. And cut. Okay, very good. Karen, how many did you get? I get three. Call, came, and cut. Excellent. Ana Ruth, how many verbs did you get? Ana Ruth? Okay, so for the ones that are just joining, para los que no habían escuchado la indicación, estamos escribiendo verbos que inician con la letra que yo les indico. Entonces, por ejemplo, acabamos de escribir verbos que inician con C. Tiene 30 segundos para escribir tantos verbos que empiecen con C como usted pueda. Así, ¿ok? All right, so let's continue. We are going to have one more round. That one's going to be with the letter D. Write verbs that start with the letter D. Okay, time's up. Stop grading. Mm. So let's see, Arturo, you got three. Dance, yes. do, and dream. Very good. Yeah. Ana Ruth, how many did you get? Three, okay. Oh, only two, Ana Ruth. Do and draw. Oh, and dance. Okay, very good. So you got three. Let's see, Carla Enriquez. How many did you get? Uh, letter D. Yes. Uh, drink, do, uh, drive, drown. Okay, excellent. You got four. Only that. Thank you. Pretty good. Lorena, how many did you get? Three. Drive, drink, and die. Okay. And Mauricio? Drive, drink, 
do, dance, draw, and uh, that's it. That's it. You got five. Okay. Pretty yeah. well. All right. Excellent. Thanks. So let's see. Now let's continue by remember about, remembering about the summer activities that we mentioned yesterday, right? So we had activities like go hiking, go swimming, have fun, have a picnic, meet new people, meet old friends, play tennis, play volleyball, see a movie, see a play, take a class, take pictures, and that was it. So remember, what was the meaning of see a play? Yeah, movie, when you go to uh, theater. Exactly, when you go to, to the theater, you go to see a play, right? Yeah. Great. So now this is what I want you to do with this. I want you to go to the breakout rooms and have a conversation with your classmates about your last vacations. So how come? Find out if your classmates did any of these activities. For example, Mauricio, did you go hiking on your last vacation? And positive or negative? You decide. Okay. Uh, I didn't go to the hiking in the summer. Okay, pretty good. And then um, let's see, Carla Enriquez, did you go swimming on your last vacation? Um, I didn't go swimming yesterday or on vacation. Okay, all right. So that's what you have to do. You have to ask and answer, okay? Did you go hiking? Did you have fun? Okay. Did you meet new people? Did you play tennis? Did you watch a movie or did you see a movie? Did you take a class and so on? So let me just send you to the breakout rooms and I'll send the picture to the group. So you have it, okay? Okay. All right, okay. so please accept the invitation. Roberto, Roberto, quedamos. Okay. Who is that? Uh, no tengo Laura. la captura. La acaba de mandar a la chat. Uh -huh. chat. I start if you want. Okay. Okay. Uh, Roberto, uh, do you go uh, hiking the last vacation? No, no, didn't. I, 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 I not hiking in the vacation. Okay. Hoy, hoy sí voy yo, hoy pregunto o qué. Sí. Sorry, pero me voy uniendo. Sorry, pero me voy uniendo. Estoy llegando tarde. Ok. Me queda muy lejos la escuela, no, broma. Uh, eh, Laura, uh, do you, do you, do you, do you have met the new people and the, And the can the in the the mall. Mm, yes, I made a lot of new people in the mall. Okay, okay. 
Okay, just a comment. Remember to use the past. So you should ask like, oh. did you, okay? Did you meet new yeah. people? Did you go hiking? Did you go did swimming? You meet exactly. I did and the answers the could be yes, I did or no, I didn't. Or I didn't go hiking. I didn't meet new people. Okay? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Do okay. you meet? Did you? Did you did you meet um, new people on the on the mall? Yes, I did. Okay. Ahora yo te pregunto. Eh, en negativo sería I sería did. Yes, I did. Ah, en positivo. I yes, am, am, I, I did. did oh, no, I didn't. Yes, 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 I did. Yes, I did. No, I, I didn't. Play, I play volleyball uh -huh. on weekend. I play volleyball oh, on weekend. Mm -hmm. Weekend. El negativo sería I didn't. I didn't sí. play it. I didn't play play. I didn't play. It. I volleyball. didn't play volleyball on weekend. Volleyball on weekend. Okay, just a comment. Weekend. We say on the weekend. Okay? On the weekend, yes. On, on the, the weekend. weekend. Yes, and remember that the verb goes in the base form, in the present. I didn't play. Uh -huh. I didn't uh -huh. play. Uh -huh. no, Volleyball on weekend. I didn't play. I didn't play. Play. Play, I didn't yes. Play. Uh -huh. I didn't play volleyball on weekend, right? Exactly. On the weekend, very good. And the positive, and the positive is yes, I didn't play volleyball on weekend. Yes, I played. Yes, okay. I did. I yes, played. Yes, I did. I played. Yeah. Uh, I what played is it? Volleyball, volleyball right? on weekend. I played volleyball on the weekend. Volleyball on the weekend. Uh -huh. Okay. En respuesta larga es que si uno la querría decir toda. Yeah, exactly. Verdad, teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. And the next In my telephone, I like it. And, and did you take a class in your last vacation? No, I didn't. Okay. Did you take pictures on the on last um, summer? Okay. Yes, I always take pictures. I like it to take pictures with my telephone, but I like it because I like to to remember the places or or the or people that I that I have been talking or, or doing something, but I don't like to to go on. I don't say I maybe it's the fun the, the way to say uh, subirlas to Facebook. I don't like that. Uh, never I never go on a, a, a forum. Me neither. No, I don't like that. I just like to say for picture for me for for or uh, just remember, but not for 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 another people know what I have, what I did. I didn't like that. Okay, good thing. And you? Did you take pictures the last time? Yes, I did. Yes. I, I like um, to take picture um, with my family. And uh, ¿cómo se dice paisaje? Um, yeah. 
no, no, no sé. That would be landscape. Landscape. Landscape, yes, that, that's a word. I like on the, on the beach. Or in the beach, on the beach. On the beach, me? On the beach. On the beach. I like the, the pictures on the beach. Because I like the, the colors and, and the eye, like the waves. It's, I like and that's because it's it's precious, right? Landscape. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you did you meet all friends the last vacations? Uh, yes, I did. I lot of time the no no sí o cómo se puede decir que no lo podía ver no los tenía tiempo de no verlo. Um, um, uh, time, time ago. Time ago. Okay. I. So you can say um, it had a, it had been a lot of time since I last saw them, or also as you said, uh, it was a long time I didn't see them. A lot of a lot of time. Yes, or or a long time. A long time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. A long time. Meet, meet, como de verlos? Yes, de I reunirse. didn't meet them Vamos or I didn't see them. You can also say. See they. See them. See them. See them, okay. Mm -hmm. See them, okay, perfecto. Ahora, eh, José Arturo, did you see a movie last weekend? last vacation yes i did and i saw a okay. lot of movies okay did you no vamos Okay, so we're back. Let's see. Let me check with some of you. Lorena, did you go hiking on your last vacation? No idea. Okay. And how about Carla? Did you go swimming? Yes, I did. Excellent. Let's see, Arturo. Did you have fun on your last vacation? Yes, I did. Nice. Karen, did you have a picnic on your last vacation? No, I didn't. Okay. Noemi, did you meet new people on your last vacation? No, I didn't. All right. Roberto, did you meet all friends on your last vacation? No, I didn't. You didn't. Okay. And Mauricio, did you play tennis on your last vacation? Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Um, yes, I, yes, I did. I played uh, basketball on vacation. Okay, you play basketball. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty good. And Thanks. Laura, did you see a movie on your last vacation? No, I didn't. You didn't? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. That's pretty cool. 
All right, so let's just move on to the lesson objective. So today, by the end of the class, you will be able to form positive and negative statements with the pass of the verb be. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting, okay? okay. So yeah, we are going to talk a little bit about the verb be in the past. It has two different forms, which are, what are the two forms of the verb be in the past? Where and was. Where and was, exactly. Where and was. Okay, so first of all, we are going to listen to the conversation that we have in this video. I need you to pay attention to it and please take notes of any new word or any word that you need to know the pronunciation of. Okay, Get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. So tell me, where was Melissa born? In Korea. In Korea. In Korea. Exactly. Melissa she was, was born, born in, in Korea. Korea. And how about the guy, Chuck? Where was he born? In USA. In the he US. He was born in the US. Yes. Okay, great. So now it's time to practice the conversation. Just before that, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation of any words? Right away, like uh, an imaginary. Yeah, right away would be like immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I have another question, teacher. Tell me. Wait, what, how, um, ¿Cuál es la forma correcta de, de leer el año? So we have two different options. The first one is to divide um, the, the four numbers in just two different numbers, right? Like two numbers. 1999. So the first option would be that one, right? 1999. Or if we had a different one, like... Um, Let's say um, 2017, or we could have like 1876. So you just divide it into two numbers. Or otherwise, you have to say all the numbers, but you start with thousands, then with hundreds, and then yeah. with the other numbers, right? So for example, it could be 1,999, right? So the long way to say it, yes. 1,999. Or in this case, we say 2,017. Or this okay. one would be 1,876. So we start with the thousands. Okay. Then we mention the hundreds. And then the other numbers, right? Tenemos esas dos right. opciones. La primera y la más fácil es dividirlo en dos números, que sería eh, como 1999. Mm -hmm. Y la segunda sería que vayamos mencionando yeah. desde el mil, luego los cientos, luego los, eh, que serían décimos? Decenas. Um, decenas, yes, thank yeah. you. So, yeah, it goes like um, 1,999. Esa sería la forma larga de decirlo. ¿Ok? And both of them are okay. correct. Okay, ok, thanks, teacher. Las dos son thanks. correctas, solo depende de cómo usted lo quiera decir. 
Okay. okay. Any other question Thanks, or doubt? No. No more? Okay. So let's read the conversation. Do I have two volunteers to read it? Me? I. So that will be Mauricio and... And Me. Lorena. Okay, so let's start with Mauricio and Lorena. Mauricio. Okay. Uh, where were you born, Melissa? I was born. Or Lorena. I was born in Korea. Oh, you see, where in born to I in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes. I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. And your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. And I studied English corporative with the teacher <laughs> Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Lorena and Mauricio. <laughs> okay. All right. Do I have some other volunteers to read? Me, teacher. Me? That is Roberto. Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. Roberto and... Me. Karen. Karen. Okay, pretty good. So, Roberto, you start. Okay. Where were you born, uh, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were in, born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were very young. Yes, I was only 17. Do you go to college right away? No, my English uh, wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Excellent. Thank you, guys. And let's see, just one more You're pair. Me. Me. Yo. Yo. Me. That is Noemi Ana and Anaru. Anaru. Okay, pretty good. So, Noemi, you start. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so where so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English class just for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. And your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, very good. Noemi and Ana Ruth, thank you. All right, just um, some comments about this one. We say the U.S., okay? The U.S. The US. In the or US. in the case um, when you have all three letters, USA, USA, right? USA. It's not that in Spanish that sometimes we say la USA, right? Nuh -uh. <laughs> so we say USA, right? 
Okay, the US <laughs> or USA. <laughs> yeah, okay, so and, then, <laughs> and then and um, then this word classes. Remember to mention the the last sound, okay? Classes. We classes. have one class and then yeah. classes. Class classes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Now let's talk about the past of B. So what are the forms that we have for the past of B? Was. Was, we were. Where? Yes, we have was and we have were. 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 So were. as I mentioned previously, the verb B is very special. Right? So it always acts in a different way. And we have, um, for example, in the present, we have a whole lesson or unit about the verb be. And we have three different forms for the present, am, um, is, or are. And we go like, I am, you are, he is, and so on, right? So it's similar in the past, except that we only have two forms that are was and where. And uh, which one do I use? Well, it depends on the subject. For example, when I'm talking about myself, I say I was or I were. I was. I was. 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 I was. was. How about you? You was or were? Where? 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 You were. You were. You were. Okay. And he. He was. 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 She was, she was, was, she was, she was, was, and it was, 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 it was. It was. Okay, how about the pronoun we? We were, we were, we were, we were. We were. and they? They were. They were. They were. They were. They were. They were. So we use was for I, he, she, and it, and were for you, we, and they. So we have, I they. was, he was, she was, it was, you were, we were, and they were. So please repeat, I was. I he was. was. He was. He, he was. was. She was. He she was. was. It was. It was. You were. You, you were. were. We were. We were. We, we were. were. They were. They we were. were. And then how do I make sentences? Well, this is a structure I follow. First of all, I need the subject. Then I need the verb, which is was or were. And after that, I only add a complement, just three elements, subject, was or were, and the complement. Here I have some examples. I was very happy. I was very happy. So the subject, I, the verb was, was. and then the complement, very happy. Um, very happy. Can you read the second example, please, Noemi? She was a doctor. Thank you. Next example, Arturo. Um, they were married for five years. Very good, thank you. Karen, can you read the next one? You you were really hungry? Really angry. Okay, angry. Very good, thank you. All right, so that's how you make sentences with the past of B. It's pretty easy. Subject, then the verb, then the complement. That's it. So now it's time to practice. Here I have some sentences that are not in the right order. We are going to have to unscramble them. For example, this one. Take a look at it and tell me what would be the sentence. I was at school. I was at, I was school. at a school. I was at school. Ooh. Okay. Next one. Let's see. 
Lorena. Number two. You were, you were thirsty and hungry. And hungry. Very good. You were thirsty and hungry. Do you know the meaning of thirsty? Sediento. No. Exactly. Sediento. 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 Yes, that's when you need to drink some water, right? And hungry, it's when you need to eat. You need some food. Okay, yes. very good. Now the next one, Ana Ruth. We were very sad. We were very you, sad. You were. You oh. were. Okay. You were very sad. All right, thank you. Next one, Karen. Okay. I was. Was. Martin. Was Martin at the hospital? Okay, but it's a, yes, we start with Martin, all right? Martin. So it is Martin was at the hospital. At the hospital. Okay, very good. Now number five is for, let's see, Roberto. Okay, we were tired and pretty. Pretty tired. We're pretty tired. We're exactly. tired. We were pretty tired. Pretty tired. So in this case, we are using pretty to intensify the meaning of tired. It's like when we say very tired, right? We were oh. very tired. We were pretty tired. We were really tired. So all those words okay. um, mean the same in these cases. Really, pretty, and very. Se usan como okay. para intensificar, para decir muy, ¿verdad? Estábamos muy mm. cansados. Pretty tired. All right. Now number six is for Laura. Um, my family and I were in Paris. Excellent, Laura. My family and I were in Paris. Number seven, Carla Enriquez. The the word. Mm, check it, please. The oh kids. my god. The kids. The kids. Okay. Hey, the kids. Kids were yes. at the mm -hmm. cinema. Thank you. Kids were at the cinema. Okay. Very good, Carla. All right, number eight is for Arturo. It, it uh -huh. was a rainy, a rain day. A rainy day. A rainy day. Very good, Arturo. Thank you. It was a rainy day. Number nine, let's see who's missing. Lorena. Sasha was um, painted, a painted fan, a, a Spanish painter. Very good. Picasso was a Spanish painter. Okay, and the last one is for Noemi. 
Number 10, Noemi. Um, sería my was my no my grand my grandfather was a pilot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. My grandfather was a pilot. Okay, any doubts or questions about any of the sentences? Is it all clear? Okay. Eh, cuan, teacher, eh, I have a question. Eh, cuando queremos decir eh, en tercera persona eh, el suyo eh, en pasado, ¿cómo sería? Um, ¿Cómo así? No sé si me explica. El... Um, en cuanto a las pertenencias, por ejemplo, esa casa fue de ella, ¿cómo sería? That house was That hers. House. That house mm -hmm. was hers. Ahí lo That. único que vamos a cambiar entre presente y pasado sería el verbo. For example, that house is hers. En el presente, ¿verdad? That house is uh -huh. hers. Esa casa es uh -huh. de ella. En el pasado lo cambiaríamos a that house was hers. No uh, cambiamos el verbo was, de is yeah. a was. Pero eh, los pronombres okay. nunca cambian ni los adjetivos. Entonces ahí si mantenemos el hers o si estuviéramos hablando en un caso donde decimos my... Like my cell phone mm -hmm. or your house. Eso se mantiene, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Okay, so just in the remaining minutes, we are going to talk about um, a little homework we are going to have. So I need you to think of a perfect vacation. So what's your, per your perfect vacation? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Um, who do you want to go with? So think about it. Do you want to take a train? Do you want to take a flight? Um, do you want to just go on a road trip? Just think about your perfect vacation in everything that you want to do. And then imagine that you already had your perfect vacation, that it already happened. So I want you to write about your perfect vacation, but in the past. For example, you start like, I had a perfect vacation. I went to Mexico. I went there with some friends and we went to Cancun. We visited the DF too. Um, what else? We swam with dolphins, for instance. We visited some museums. What was that? <laughs> okay. So just imagine that you already went on your perfect vacation. I want you to just tell us about it, but in the past. Vamos a hablar de nuestras vacaciones perfectas como si ya hubiesen pasado. Como si ya hubiéramos tenido todo eso que, que deseamos. Con quién quiere ir, dónde quiere ir, qué lugares visitar, um, qué quiere hacer. Ok, so just imagine about everything. Take into account what you want to eat, maybe drink. Just whatever thing that makes your vacation perfect. For tomorrow. And, yes. Incluye cualquier sí. cosa oh, wow. que haga su vacación perfecta. So yes, you write a little paragraph and tomorrow we are going to share it in the class. Okay? Okay. 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 Good night. All right, so that would be the homework for tomorrow. Let me just tell you, um, well, if you have not finished the work in the platform, please try to keep on going because um, we only have two days to finish the course, right? We finish on Friday, so on Friday at midnight, the platform closes and well, that's it, right? So please, if you are missing some work in the platform, please do it. Remember, you have to have at least 80% in your grade. 
Um, so please take that into account. I know that if you check the platform, it has a different date. In the platform aparece una fecha diferente, pero de igual forma, ustedes ya, se, ya habían sido informados de que la fecha de, final, de finalización de este curso es el 6 de noviembre. Entonces es importante que tomemos en cuenta que ese día a la medianoche se cierra la plataforma y pues solamente tomaríamos en cuenta lo que ha trabajado hasta entonces. Recordemos que el mínimo que debemos cubrir es el 80% y pues desde luego que es más que perfecto si cubrimos mucho más, el 90%, el 100%. Excelente. Eh, de igual forma, revisen por favor si ya están sus certificados, sus diplomas del principiante 3. Si alguno tuviera algún problema, por favor me reporta mañana para poder consultarlo. Y pues sería nada más eso. Ah, igual recalcar que aunque ya hemos enviado documentos para inscribir el próximo módulo, no quiere decir de que ya estamos ahí, ¿verdad? De que ya nos aceptaron, sino que el trabajo en la plataforma pues será lo definitivo. Si usted no cumple con el requisito del 80% en plataforma, pues no podría seguir, pero espero que todos lo hagamos, ¿ok? Sé que la mayoría ha terminado. Thank you, Así que teacher. Congratulations to the ones that finished. And please, to the other ones, keep going. Keep working in the platform and complete that 80% at least. All right. Okay, teacher. So All right, all thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.